this is uh, worksheet number six of the same standard, uh, C CPE uh, A1. More of the same, and again, if you're kind of getting lost here, you might back up to uh, the worksheet five or the worksheet four, which covers kind of all of this stuff. Um, what I want to do here is just diagram a very complex uh, Venn diagram and look at some of the notation stuff. So first of all, our D20 again will be our, um, our main roller here, 1 through 20. Um, and so I just put U in the corner for universal. Now when you have three uh, sets, it is possible to share something in all three. And the diagram actually often looks kind of like this. And the reason it looks like this is because that little region there that's in all three of these circles or ovals uh, is anything that's in common in all of them. So I'm going to kind of go through that first and find those. I see ones. Um, that might be it. Let's see. Uh, a five. No. Actually, I think the one is the only thing in common there. Now, the next thing I probably should do is call this A, B, and C. Now, you can almost, uh, let's look at A and B, what's in common in those, and we'll kind of leave C out. So the intersection of A and B is in this region right here. So uh, we want to find out what's in common. Well, the twos are in common, um, and that's it, a two. Now we want to check what's in common between uh, A and C. So that would be this region between A and C. The ones are in common, the five is in common, and that looks like about it. Now what's in common between B and C will sit in this region, B and C. Uh, the one, the three, and that's it, the one and the three. Now once you have that, you have, um, we can put in the rest. So a 10 is over here. A is the only one that has the 10. Um, right? And then in B's case, I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Over here, I get 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and 19. Do you see how that's arranged now where this region, and let's, well, let's go through this first, then I'll come back to this. There's lots going on here that I like. So this says what's in the intersection, the little N symbol between A and C. A and C is just the one and the five. What's the union of B and C? Now union means to combine everything in there. Woo! So um, it would be uh, a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, a 6, a 7. Now I think it goes 9, 11, 12, 13, 15, 17, 19. It would be all of the things, I'm union because it, so it's everything in that list and in that list put together. Notice I'm not writing the duplicates more than once. I'm just writing them all out. The things that are not in C, this means not in C. Now, um, that is a bunch of things as well. Actually, C is the odds. So it would be all of the evens, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, uh, 20. Um, now you say, well, where's the 20 and the 18? They're out in this area, and I haven't written them in there, but they can be placed there. But they're the things not in A, not in B, and not in C. How about the union of, of, uh, of A and B? Well, that would be a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, a 6, a 10, and a 12 would be the union of those, putting them together. Finally, what is the intersection of A and B and C? Ah, that's the number one right there. There's one item in A and B and C and so on. Now, um, what are the things, let's do another one, what are the things uh, in A and not in B? So I want to be in A, it has to be in A, which is a 1, 2, 5, and 10, but it can't be in B. 
So B is over here. So the things that are in A, in A, and not in B are the 5 and the 10. Where are the things that are in B and not in C? So things that are in B, these things right here, but can't be in C. So that would be the 1, 2, 4, 6, and 12. Lots of things going on there, but the Venn diagram helps you to kind of organize it and keep it in place. Get used to the symbols of intersection, meaning and, A and C. U meaning union, meaning combining those things together. And C meaning complement, the things that are not that.